What's going on YouTube? I'm your host Joss and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. If you haven't already, make sure you're following us on our new social media pages, they are linked down below. And of course, don't forget, it is tradition around here that if you stick around until the end of this video, you can join me as I respond to some of your comments. Today, one of our lists continues with a part two. Every single day we get all the celebrity updates, news, scandals, whatever it might be. We are always in the loop simply by scrolling through our social media. That is because these celebrities have remained in the spotlight, but what about the ones who haven't? That's right, today we are doing a part two list of top 10 actors who disappeared from Hollywood, part two. Let's jump in. the list at number 10 is Sean Connery. The actor first rose to fame during the 60s when he became the first ever James Bond. That is quite the title to have. After that, he continued to take on roles in box office hits like The Untouchables, Highlander, The Rock, and we all know it didn't hurt his career when he also played Indiana Jones' dad in the movie. We know that his last film before he retired was The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen back in 2003. This was the movie where he got into a fist fight with the director, Stephen Norrington. It wasn't revealed until until years later just exactly why he started a movie he hated so much with the director that he got into an altercation with. Turns out he had turned down both Lord of the Rings and The Matrix, so he felt like there was no way he could turn this one down. He told Entertainment Weekly, I got offered The Lord of the Rings and I turned it down because I didn't understand it. I was offered The Matrix twice and I turned it down because I didn't understand it. I don't understand this movie, but I will be damned if I'm going to turn it down. After that, he basically called it quits on acting and he has been enjoying retirement ever since. At number 9 is the beautiful actress Meg Ryan. She has had a very successful acting career which is why it was shocking when she just decided to walk away from it. We haven't seen her in a movie since 2015 when she took on a minor role and many of us didn't even know she quit, she kind of just disappeared. We only found out last year on June 9th, 2018 when she joined her once co-star Gwyneth Paltrow for a panel discussion in LA. She sat down to do an interview for Gwen's In Goop Health event. The two of them talked candidly about working in Hollywood and Meg's decision to quit acting a few years ago. Meg spoke about it by saying, I didn't really aim to be an actor. I was a journalism major at school and a curious person and I wanted to go back into the world and figure out who I was, am, in relationship to other things and other people and other environments. Over the years she has majorly stepped out of the spotlight and rarely makes appearances at public events. That doesn't stop the paparazzi from snapping some pictures though. So I marry number 8 spot is Dylan Sprouse. You would know him and his twin brother Cole Sprouse from the Disney Channel's The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and then all their other Disney appearances after that, like The Sweet Life on Deck. Both of them had huge success at a young age. It was reported that they were earning $40,000 per episode at the height of their career. In 2011, the twins pulled away from the public eye without any explanation why. In 2013, some customers were startled at a coffee shop in the East Village when Dylan Sprouse was pouring lattes and craft beer. Turns out that Dylan went on to study at NYU, which is where he developed a passion for brewing. He did an internship for some time at a Brooklyn bourbon distillery and has a passion for mead in particular. He is now running his own brewery, which he added into the William Vale Hotel in Williamsburg called the All Wise Meadery. During an interview with Vanity Fair in 2018, he refers to acting as a commission type job and says that the meadery provides a stable paycheck. He also admitted that he often gets compared to his brother Cole Sprouse, who landed a lead role as Jughead in the hit TV series Riverdale. When asked about his brother's TV show, he said, Don't tell my brother, but I've only seen the first episode. If I'm being honest, when I first saw Riverdale, I had no idea which twin it was. So he could totally just pretend it was him and take the credit for it. In spot number seven is Edward Furlong. He's best known for his role as John Connor in the 1991 Terminator 2 Judgment Day. He was starring alongside two huge stars, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Linda Hamilton. The role made him incredibly successful, which would make you think he was on to bigger and better things from there on out. However, only three years after the successful movie, one director claimed the young actor was, and I quote, clearly on a path to disaster. Unfortunately, his prediction happened to be true. It seemed like the young actor couldn't handle the pressures of being in the business, so he turned to drinking and drugs, racking up multiple arrests over the years. He had arrests for drug possession, assault, and stealing lobsters from a supermarket. During an interview with People in 2006, he simply said, Hollywood f 
me up, man. Later in the interview, he said he had turned his life around, but that didn't seem to be the case. After that, he had more than one arrest regarding domestic turmoils. We haven't seen him in anything in years, and to be honest, we probably wouldn't even recognize him. At number six is Phoebe Cates. Back in the 80s, she was one of the biggest names in Hollywood, which is why it was hard to understand why she just kind of fizzled out of the spotlight. She made her first big debut in the movie Paradise and continued to have success in movies which had her fans believing she was here to stay. You may remember her from the later movies she did like The Anniversary Party or Gremlins. In 1989, she got married to Kevin Kline, a very successful actor who we saw as Maurice in the 2017 Beauty and the Beast live action movie. Kline opened up saying that when they decided to start a family, they didn't want work to take away from their time with the children. He told Playboy, and I quote, We have agreed to alternate so that we're never working at the same time. But whenever it's been her slot to work, Phoebe has chosen to stay with the children. It seems like she quietly just kind of left the industry and retired from acting just to be a mom. She's done acting, but she still spends a lot of time doing charity work. Her son has type 1 diabetes, so she devotes her time towards raising funds for a cure. She also started her own boutique in 2005 called Blue Tree. She says, I quote, I always wanted to have a general store. If I could have a photo booth and sold candy, I would have. Hey, the heart wants what it wants, and I guess hers just doesn't want acting anymore. Halfway through the list at number 5 is Randy Quaid. Yes, Dennis Quaid has a brother, and they look nothing alike, so don't feel bad if you didn't put the connection together. Dennis has had a very successful acting career where he spent years being called a Hollywood heartthrob. However, Randy has had a successful career also, with 119 acting credits to his name on IMDb, but he took on different roles than his brother did due to the difference in their looks. In 2009, his problems began when he and his wife were arrested for fraud by using an invalid credit card at an inn. They they were released on bail but then failed to appear in court and that's when warrants for their arrest were issued. Eventually the two of them appeared in court but the charges against the actor were dropped due to lack of evidence. Lucky him. Only one year later the two of them were charged again but this time for burglary after they spent five days staying in the guest house in a home they once owned. Once again they failed to appear in court and warrants for their arrest were issued again. Turns out they moved to Canada but they ended up getting arrested for their outstanding warrants. Taking the number 4 spot is Mara Wilson, aka Matilda. She was one of the most well known and beloved child stars of the 90s, appearing in the movies Missed Out Fire and then Matilda. But after she rose to fame, she disappeared from the spotlight in the blink of an eye. Years down the road in 2016, she explains why she quit Hollywood in a memoir she wrote called Where Am I Now? True Stories of Girlhood and Accidental Fame. She explains that she didn't fit the look that Hollywood wanted as she got older. She said, I wasn't getting any parts. I realized I don't fit their idea of what a Hollywood actress looks like. There's no room for me here. It's hard to come out of that scene and without some serious doubts about yourself. That's when she began to immerse herself in school, theater, and writing. After she graduated college, she admits in her book that she's never felt better. She writes, Things have gotten a lot better since I left Hollywood. A great weight lifted. Now, she lives in New York, where she's become a part of the comedy and writing scene. She happily lives in Queens with her two cats and says that, yes, she still gets recognized as Matilda. But that is no surprise because she literally looks the exact same. Alright guys, at number 3 is Frankie Muniz, who you might know as Malcolm from the class of TV series Malcolm in the Middle. The show ran from 2000 to 2006 and is basically what put him on the map in the acting world. He also did other movies like Big Fat Liar, Agent Cody Banks, and Sharknado. Needless to say, he had a wildly successful career. His acting resume is stacked with a number of different credits. Which is why I was so stunned when I found out that he walked away from Hollywood and is now running an olive oil shop. Yes, that is a thing. Turns out acting is no longer his main focus anymore, although you will see him popping up in some projects once in a while. After he left his full time acting career, he and his fiance, Paige Price, now own an olive oil shop called Outrageous Olive Oils and Vinegars in Old Town Scottsdale. If you go, you will actually spot him sitting behind the register. The now 32 year old says, We had been customers at the store before and we just knew we liked the product and we wanted to do something together. Now it's become our lives. The former actor, who was once practically drowning in fame, money, and success, says that he's found a new power. Passion, payroll. He said, I love doing payroll. I love doing anything with the financials. I'm a numbers guy, so this has been like a dream come true for me. Amen. To each their own. 
At number 2 is Orlando Brown, the Disney star most known for his role on That's So Raven. After That's So Raven, he went on to other acting projects and also got into the music industry. But over the past few years, Brown has disappeared from Hollywood and has found trouble with the law instead, getting arrested for multiple different things. He was arrested for burglary, which was actually caught on tape, rookie mistake, so he couldn't even get away with it. TMZ posted a video of him moments leading up to the burglary where he takes a cloth to cover up the camera, but he didn't even wear a mask to do so. He is literally the worst criminal ever. He was arrested again in September 2018 for another burglary charge in Las Vegas. He remained in jail on $13,000 bail, which includes bail from his previous arrest charges for drug possession and resisting a public officer and domestic battery. In his latest mugshot, he showed off a new tattoo on his chest, the face of Raven Simone, his co-star from the show. He also had a huge smile on his face, so it looks like he's not too upset by things. I think it is safe to say we won't be seeing him on our TV screens anytime soon. Take our number one spot is Daniel Day Lewis. People were shocked in 2017 when he basically just quit acting and retired from acting altogether. Some didn't believe that he would actually be done, but we haven't seen him in anything ever since, so I think it's time that we better start coping with this. It was announced publicly in June of 2017 saying, Daniel Day Lewis will no longer be working as an actor. He is immensely grateful to all of his collaborators and audiences over the many years. This is a private decision and neither he nor his representatives will make any further comment on the subject. The actor later did an interview with Variety where he opened up about his choice to retire and he was told that people don't think he's really done with acting or Hollywood. His response to that was, I didn't want to get sucked back into another project. All my life I have mouthed off about how I should stop acting and I don't know why it was different this time, but the impulse to quit took root in me and that became a compulsion. It was something I had to do. It's hard to say what exactly he's up to these days because all we get is a few random pictures from the paparazzi of him just walking around. Alright guys, there is our part 2 list. Let me know what you're thinking and feeling down in the comments below and hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. I'm going to end this video by responding to some of your comments. Shamili Tak Tak says, Joss, you look so good in this video. You should wear that tracksuit every day, every day. You go, girl, yeah. Well, that is a lot of hype for a tracksuit, but maybe I will wear it for one more day just for you, but probably not every day. John Bob says, I'm so glad you pronounce button, not button. When so <laughs> Since when did T's become silent? There are a couple similar channel hosts that do, and I avoid the channel just because of this. It annoys me that much. Yeah, I have heard people. People pronounce it as button. However, I don't think the word button should annoy someone that much, but I'm glad I don't annoy you. Sophia Schulfer says, I saw your video on IO and I have a question. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, finally someone asked me if I am okay. Thank you, Sophia. Yes, I am okay. Franklin Francis says, love your videos and your sister channel tier list. Thank you. If you guys haven't checked out that channel, make sure you do. It is linked down below. On that note, I am getting out of here. I am your host, Joss, and I will see you next time.